Okay, this question says, Gary drove from London to Sheffield. It took him three hours, an average speed of 80 kilometers per hour. Lynn also drove from London to Sheffield and it took her five hours. Assuming that Lynn drove along the same roads as Gary and did not take a break, work out Lynn's average speed. So we've got a speed question. So you need to remember speed equals distance over time or the formula triangle, speed, distance and time here. So Gary drove three hours, so that's time. A speed of 80, that's speed. So to work out distance, which is the bit of information we're missing, so distance is going to be speed times time. Speed is 80, time is 3, so 8 times 3 is 24, add on the 0, so 240, and it's in kilometres because it was kilometres per hour. So the distance is 240 kilometres. Now Lynn has dro driven down the same road, so same distance, so the distance is now 240, and her time is 5 hours we're going to work out the speed. So again, speed, using this, if I cover the S, I've got distance, divide by time. So 240, divide by 5. To divide by 5, you can divide by 10, and then double it. So 240 divided by 10 is 24, double that, 48. So 48 kilometers per hour. Okay, part B. If Lynn did not drive along the same roads as Gary, how could this explain how this could affect your answer? So if she didn't drive along the same roads, she would have gone a different distance. And so a different distance would change the speed. So different roads, different roads would mean a different distance. And a different distance would mean a different speed would change the speed. So you could say if the distance was more, the speed would go up. And if the distance was less, the speed would go down. You could say that as well.